What's popping, puppy? So I am making ribs finally. I haven't made ribs in how long you think? Have you made it in this house? No. So at, yeah, least, at least a, least year. a year. At least a year. And even at the old house, I don't think I smoked that much. Um, oh, but we smoked a lot. <laughs> we didn't smoke either. Wait, let me clean this. Hi. You know the vibe. Anyway. But super big shout outs to Traeger. So they sent me one of their world famous pellet grills. And when they sent that to me, I'm like. What is a pellet grill? Okay, so you know how I have a smoker. Oh, you got a regular grill, right? Okay. And it's okay, charcoal and it's propane. That's what I know. Uh, um, and then so you have a smoker, which is that like t tall tube looking thing that yeah, I have. Yeah, we have one somewhere. In the back, yeah, it's like a little rocket ship. So that one is manual. And when it's manual, like you guys see what me try to do. What does it do? Um, so what you do is you cook the meat, not with the heat burning from the wood. You cook it indirectly with the smoke. So what it does is you, you have charcoal and then uh, you cover the charcoal and you let it smoke. Then you cover it so the heat, there's a water bath. So it prevents the heat from touching the meat and it's the smoke that's cooking it. Oh, cool. Which is why it takes like hours. Five, six, <laughs> eight, 10, 12 hours because you're not letting the uh, heat cook the meat and why, that's why barbecue is so soft when done right. Um, the only problem is when you're doing the manual version, you gotta keep going back out every Yeah, you would hour. set timers on your phone and stuff. Yeah, constantly. I'm gonna watch the TV, 45 minutes is up. Ah, oh, I gotta go check on the thing. Oh, not the TV interruption. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's a pain in the ass. Um, and every time you open the, the grill open, if the temperature fluctuates, and when the temperature fluctuates oh, a lot. Oh, not the fluctuation of the temperature. Well, no, that, that, that actually matters. Because that's what makes the, the meat tighten up and loosen, tighten up and loosen. Oh. You, don't want it, you don't want it to just like, just like tighten up like all over the place, you know what I mean? Yeah. You want it to be nice and I want loose. it, let me see, yeah. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Sorry I subjected <laughs> to you to that. You want it to be uh, nice and soft and moist, and so what's dope about uh, Traeger, <laughs> why is it all up on my face? <laughs> What's dope about uh, the Traeger pellet grill is that it's gonna constantly feed pellets in according to the smoke and temperature that it needs to be. So it's pretty much almost like an oven where you just leave it. That's so cool. You don't have to worry about it. And so I actually have the confidence to smoke one of the toughest meats, which is brisket, because that takes like 12, 14 is this hours. Brisket? This isn't brisket, because I want to oh. start with something that I do know. Oh, okay. That way I can monitor it. Like any type of um, skill, you want to start easy to hard. Yeah. And so I'm just doing something that I miss doing. I, I, I'm pretty good with this recipe. I know I can do this like in any, I could turn a pretty much side by side grill into a smoker if I needed to. Um, so. Thank you to Traeger for inspiring me to start barbecuing and smoking again. Hell yeah, thank you to Traeger for uh, allowing our family to eat good again. Oh, okay. you like my food? Yeah, I love ribs. I love when you cook and stuff. But yeah, so the, the grill looks really, really dope. I know Bart's gonna like show it to you and walk you through the whole thing, but like just me looking at it, I'm like, now that's a grill. And then just looking at the things that it does, I don't know anything about grilling, but just, what I was able to comprehend, I'm like, oh damn, this is pretty top notch. But like I said, Bart will walk you through it. And I know some of you guys saw this. If you're from uh, California, OC area, you're like, Coco Kang, yep. That's, uh, there's just this one place in, where is it? I think it's Westminster. In Westminster, whoops. Um, and they make this, this coconut juice, fresh coconut, and they sweeten it with cane sugar and it's fresh cane sugar. Like you could see them like ropening it up and like doing whatever they do. You can hear it. You can hear it go. What's that? Cause they're uh, literally like throwing the cane through the juicer thing. Oh, I thought it was a Chinese cat. What? <laughs> Sounds like a Chinese cat. Give me a Chinese cat. Happy to say that in 2020. It hurts my feelings. Ah, you're right. As a cis yellow oriental male, that hurts. You me. can't say oriental. I don't know these terms, you know. I'm sorry. I think in Europe they use oriental, but in the U.S., oriental is a bad word. I'm here for oriental prostitute, like that. Okay, that's bad. Okay, wait. We're gonna. We just wanted to thank. <laughs> we just wanted to thank Coco Kane. For existing. Go we, kids, like, leave me out of this, please. <laughs> for existing. Um, we bought extra and we freeze it. So now we're thawing it out. That's all that's happening. 
And then we got Tyke over here on the ones and twos. Well, mainly on the one, because he's just watching his YouTube. What are you watching? Oh, that's pretty cool. The uh, Harlem Globetrotters. That's cool. You gonna play basketball? Okay. Are we doing anything fun today, though? Are we gonna go out or we have to stay home because of the ribs? No. We can, we I'm, can just I'm bounce? Gonna, I'm gonna let the ribs sit for a while. Oh, an update because you guys have been sending me DMs and stuff on the status of the fire. Yesterday the fire was still popping. You coming outside? Yeah, go. Red looks so good on you, dude. Red is your color. And it's also mama's color because she could spot you really easily and she knows when you're getting in trouble. I ain't lying either. Okay, so, oh, yay, it cleared up. So the fire was literally, um, there's like a, what is that? Like a valley in between that peak and this peak. The one right there, that's behind it, so we can ignore that. So between these two, there's a valley here. It's like a butt crack. Within the butt crack, it was, it was, uh, it caught on fire. But um, we live in Glendora, so the Glendora winds were pushing the fire away from the houses, which is really good. But on the other side of the mountains, downslope, there are more houses in, I forgot what city that is, but that's where it was getting dangerous for them. So then that was controlled by like two days ago but then there was another fire over this side of the mountain so we couldn't see it and it was just like this crazy like mushroom cloud of um smoke and then at nighttime because we have cameras all over the house at night it was just glowing bright you know because uh the camera doesn't pick up color at night but it was so bright it was picking up color but as you can see today it's all gone so thank you to our fire departments from all cities that were coming over and they were using their aircrafts and stuff to um, to douse the flames. So that was fucking awesome to witness because you would just see these big old aircrafts, like there were helicopters and even a 747, I think, uh, was dropping like that red stuff. So you could see all of that happening here. It was like a novella out here, like really, like the drama was real. And you know what's funny? We were like in our pool witnessing the whole thing and I'm like, 2020 who knows that though yeah it was it was nuts oh and it was like 102 or 108 yesterday so that's like i'm like why did i bring up the pool thing like i wasn't trying to that that's like a weird flex like i wasn't trying to do that i was just stating why we were even outside because it was so hot but yeah we were swimming because we want to get this dude used to this side of the pool and he did great if you guys missed it watch yesterday's vlog he was like a little merman and i love it I love it, my little mer mermaido. My little mermaido. Huh, you wanna go swimming today? Hey, hey, hey! Why? All right, you guys, I had bought this from like Home Goods months ago. And I wanna say maybe about a week ago or so, we put it up, I showed you guys, I added food. And I think today I saw a hummingbird fly by it, stop, and be like, nah. And, oh, don't wet me! Monkey, the water's cold. Look at that. Don't wet me. Don't wet people, okay? You have to ask, hey, hey, I'm talking to you. You have to ask people, hey, you wanna play? And then you play with them when they say yes. But I didn't play with, I don't wanna play with you. Okay, that was shocking, because it was cold water. But yeah, the hummingbird was like, not thanks, and it just took off. So I think we did something wrong. I don't know what I did wrong, but it ain't working. Leave me some comments below of what I should do. Should I move it? Should I take it down? Should I just leave it alone? Let it attract what it's gonna attract? Who knows? Let me know, please, thank you. Don't wet me, again? I'm not playing with you. Even though I wanna play with him and I think it's funny, I do have to, like, I do have to keep in mind that he's not just gonna be in this world with just his mom who thinks the shit that, he's do that he does is adorable. Um, he's gonna be around people who just don't think he's adorable. And they're gonna find him fucking annoying. So I need to create boundaries and standards for him to follow, you know what I mean? So even though I wanna play with him and I'm like, yeah, that's fun. I'm like, no wait, he's gonna go to school soon or he's gonna, hey, don't get wet, get off. 
Can you please get off? Please? One, two. Bro, I can't talk to this kid. This kid, if I use a low voice, it's like, oh, that means party. But once I raise my voice, he's like, oh, wait, I think I might pay attention. And then once I start counting, he's like, oh, shit, she's serious. <sighs> Welcome to Gio's TED Talk. I'm done. We have this cute little dragonfly. There's like two of them. You see it? I wish this camera would zoom. But it just frequents our pool. That It's like a red one. Yep, that's it. And then it has like a little friend or brother or sister that's blue. And they always hang out here. The other day Joe was here swimming and uh, it just kept, it was so curious. Like these dragonflies are so curious. I wouldn't be surprised if it starts flying around me. They're like little puppies or something. It's really cute. I'm just happy that we can provide whatever it is that it comes to visit us for. Because I definitely enjoy its company. Look, 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 it's getting closer. You see it? Oh, look, 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 look. It's closer. I think it's like, what? It's like being nosy. Like, what is she doing? Look, look, it's coming closer. I know this lens is wide. I wish I could zoom in more, you guys, but... Look, wait, come on, come closer to me. Where are you? Okay, you guys are probably just, you, you guys probably can't even see it. The, the lens is so far. So cute. You okay? Look at this guy taking pictures. <laughs> Bikini. So I just finished my signature dry rub. Um, that looks cool. Yeah, I got all of these are in here. I got sea salt, uh, onion, garlic, black pepper, white pepper, turmeric, cinnamon, oregano, paprika, cumin, um, mustard seeds, and uh, yep, that's it. All of that. So I'm gonna mix it together. And I got brown sugar as the base. Hopefully it's just like how, how I remember it. I am trying to take a stop. Sorry. I am trying to simplify it. So it's not as precise as my old spice measurements. He says, hey Siri, Magrana. What's He's Magrana? Like, Moana. Oh. He's like, hey Siri, Magrana. <laughs> you hear him? Hold on. Yeah. Sorry. Hold on. Moana. You're supposed to press the button. This one. No, no, this one. Hold it. Say Moana. Moana. Let me see. Moana. What? Go say it. Say it. Wait. Say it. Well, give me. One. Give me Look, back. you see? Look. Give me back. Hey, be nice. Uh, Moana. Uh, yeah, I can't get that. There it is. I, I can't get that. No, I got it for you. Look, you made it work already. Okay, now we can go back to that. <sighs> okay, Dad. How's it looking? So, um, I'm trying to simplify the recipe because before it was in tables and teaspoons and teaspoons and tables. And uh, I just want to go on based one measurement so that flavor might be different. That's literally probably... all recipes. Tables and teaspoons and teaspoons and tables. Well, then there's some, some things are two teaspoons and then three tablespoons. So I'd rather just have everything off one measurement so I kind of ballparked it and we'll see how it tastes this time. But I know generally what it's supposed to be. <laughs> Are you just eating the powder? And this is it. He cooks. You're supposed to. That's. I know in a previous sauce. take, I was like, "Oh, we're gonna eat good," but Taiko, <laughs> I mean. You're supposed to taste the sauce. So this is super cool. I just connected my phone and the grill to the Wi-Fi, and I'm starting the seasoning process. They have their own very specific seasoning process where you want to run the pellets in through the grill for 20 minutes at like 315, and I think uh, 30 minutes at 500. But in the middle of it, my phone went off, and it says, grill error, probe fell out. That's super cool. It's cool that um, when you have it connected to your phone, anything that happens, it's gonna let you know which is way better than the traditional smoker because you gotta troubleshoot and figure that stuff out. Like sometimes 
I'm looking at the thermometer, it looks good. I'm like, cool, it's exactly at 225 degrees where I need it to be. And then I come back out two hours later and I look at the ribs and I'm like, wait, why is it not very smoky? How come the meat's not like bubbling? And then I look and it's because my grill's directly in the sun and it's it senses it was 225 from the outside, not from the inside. So the, the fact that this grill could even talk to me and let me know about things is awesome. And this is the control panel. It says probe hot, probe fell out. I'll fix it once the 20 minutes are up, which I only have a few more minutes since it's uh, seizing. It does smell really good though. It already smells smoky. Oh man, it smells great in there. That's awesome. It literally smells like an oven with smoke. This thing is awesome, I'm really happy. All right, so this is the moment we've all been waiting what is for. This? Oh, this is a grease tray. So you put it inside. Oh, cool. And that way when all the grease comes, it's easier to clean because you just pull it out. Yeah. It has one in there already. Yeah, oh, already per. It the moment we've all been waiting for is putting the grease tray on. It's putting the ribs on. So um, traditionally, we have a smoker. I do like having a water pan because it keeps things moist. I don't know if you need one for one of these guys, but I was looking online, some people still like doing it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go with what I know. And I'm gonna put these bad boys in. Did you smell these already, mama? Oh, that smells bomb. So it didn't marinate overnight, but I think it should be pretty good. Is that gonna be enough for four people? Yeah, with sides. What the? Hey, take it easy over there. Nice. It does smell pretty good, huh? Yeah. All right. Just like that. Gonna set it for three hours and I'll revisit it in three hours and see what happens. Hey Maverick, can I show you something? So this is super cool because this is the biggest difference between a Traeger and a regular smoker. I have on my app Whoa. all the stats of what's going on outside. So my grill set at 180 degrees, the probe's at 145 degrees. I don't have the probe in the meat. I didn't stick it in yet because it's still way too early. Mm, that's <laughs> can you say that again? I didn't stick it in because it's way too early. You didn't stick what in? The probe. Into the what? To the juicy meat. Oh. <laughs> you beginning. I'm hungry. Yeah, and then so the timer, I have 250 on there and pellet 75% and I have the super smoke on so I can get a little bit extra smoke. But I have all this at my fingertips, whereas before I would have to go outside and constantly look at the gauge and there's times I've been sunburnt from just smoking. So now the next three hours, I just get to chill inside the house. Isn't that crazy? It's awesome. That's awesome, huh? Yeah, your kid's working in the back. We just cleaned you little monster. Now Take what are you doing? Shoes. Take up your shoes. Put them away. Did you say hi to Theo? Yes, hi. Where, where's Theo? Uh, <gasps> O'Reilly. Hey, what's up, Mario? Yeah, what's up, David? Can we put the bikes inside? Or is that fine out here? It's fine out here, but do you care if the seat gets hot? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Should we? You want to bring it in, Chucky? Yeah, you did it. You did it? Yeah. Huh? Why would you like me to bring that? Yeah, I did what? The bike. Yeah. I could take it off. I'm not asking you to do it. I'm asking if you want me to bring it in. Oh, Because the car. Because okay. the okay. bike seat might get hot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me do it. Chucky. Yeah. Can you call me Chucky too? What's Chucky mean? Yeah. It's best. Oh, the okay. best. Ever. Wow. Well, since, you know, I'm on that 3%. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! Can you give me an explanation of what all these tacos are? Oh, look at these so, tortillas! So one of my hey, hey, hey. Take that. Take when it comes to like Mexican food, right? Usually I like street taco stuff. Yeah. So there's a few places that I always frequent, and usually when I go to a, a, a Mexican like taco spot, 
I'm kind of wary of spots that kind of do too much fusion stuff. Yeah. But this place, they actually have their own smoker. So they're what? known for their uh, brisket tacos. So there's like their oh, own barbecue my sauce. Dear is Lord. This brisket? And also, this is actually one of my favorites. This is their asada tacos. Ooh. But it's like, it has the Sonora style tortillas. Oh my Jesus. So super good. And this is their version of their elote. This is a place called Taco Cita out in Pasadena. So Cita. if you guys ever want to check it out, support these businesses because they're suffering yeah. out in a lot of the quarantine stuff. Yes, so yes. Taco Cita is really good. Wow, you have a big heart. Uh, that's why I'm always going out to eat. But that's why I hate you. <laughs> Support I, I, local I, I, businesses, y'all. Everyone needs some help these days, for real. Strip <laughs> <laughs> oh, <sorry>, <laughs> daddy, all that stuff, please. <laughs> these tacos are really bomb. Extremely yeah, okay. juicy. Don't make that mm, mm, mm. Mm. Move on, you. Oh, I'll sit on the Baby, you gotta try the salad, please. I will, baby, I will. You just eat. <laughs> you suck at eating. <laughs> I'm literally eating. I know. You suck at eating, dude. Mm. Grass. You're playing with the doggy? Yeah, give me two Come on. Mmm. Oh, Alright, the three hours is up. Let's see what these bad boys look like. Uh-huh. Hell yeah. Look at that. Smells real good. Let's see. Is it soft? Got a nice little crust forming. So now it's time to wrap it up in foil. Cook it for another two hours with some honey, some mustard, some butter, maybe a little bit of brown sugar and cinnamon, and then it'll be ready to eat. He's got that nice beast. Wow. Okay. Taika and Riley are playing next to the pool. Hey, Riley. You cute puppy. All right, so I just slathered up some mustard, brown sugar, some cinnamon, got some sticks of butter on there. Probably put a little bit of hun more honey just for moisture because it's liquid. Can never be too juicy on barbecue. And I'm gonna wrap these guys up and throw them back in the Traeger for another two hours and then let it sit. And we should be ready to rock and roll. All right, here we go. Wrapped up in foil and the Traeger. Set the temperature at 225. Set it for two hours. What's cool is I could just do it straight on my phone while I relax in the pool with everyone else. Hey, Riley. Hell yeah. All right, so meanwhile, when I was grilling, Ma Bear's been teaching Taika some new tricks. I didn't teach him anything. Really? He yeah, just knows how to do it on his own? his own doing. Okay. He's been just experimenting. He wanted to put the chair on the edge, stand up on it, and Oh my God, the pool. this was crazy. <laughs> the ball didn't even get in the pool yet. <laughs> I thought the trick was he's gonna kick the ball and the pool is gonna land in at the same time. Yeah, I've seen better. <laughs> Definitely B minus. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're rolling. I watch. You wanna go to space? Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Get him. Did you get him touching touch touch the floor too? Uh, I don't know. Do it again. I'll stay wider. Go. You wanna go to space? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. One, one, two, three, go. I got it. You got it? Yeah. Ready? Go straight again? Ready? Okay. One, two, three, go! <laughs> the last one, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Hope I got it. Okay. <laughs> It's like this family moment of you tossing your child and then the whole city is burning in the back. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, but the whole city is burning. <laughs> On the other side. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> Time. Come on, I'm going to take you to space. I'm going to take you to space. I can't straight, take you to space. You go straight to space I wasn't space. trying to be insensitive, David. No, That's so space. mean. Of course, I'm worried about whatever's happening, but I thought we were just. Oh, God. 
Wait, let me know. Okay, ready? One, two, go. Okay, go. What the? You okay. Know, Daddy's not gonna come back up. <laughs> this is so freaking amazing. So I was just chilling in the pool, but I had the timer set, and when the time was up, my phone went off to let me know. So I didn't have to keep coming back and check, which is so different from a regular smoker that I'm used to. All right, so the time is up now. I can smell the smoke. It smells really good. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at these bad boys. It's probably hot. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, damn. Look at all that smoke and juice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Now I just got to let it sit on the actual smoker for like maybe 30 minutes and watch the meat pull back from the bone that's the important part ready to eat it once again the alarm has rung uh, uh, uh. Ooh. i think it needs judging by the way it's pulling on the bone maybe just 30 more minutes maybe maybe just 30 more minutes So the ribs, I think they're done. This is my first time smoking on a pellet smoker. So, I mean, it has the signs of it being done with the meat pulled back off the bone. We'll see. It smells good. Let's see what happens. Oh, there's juices? That's always a good sign. You cut one of the ones in the middle. Oh, it's always a good sign that there's juices. Let me see. Oh, there's juices in there. That's a good sign. Smoke ring. Hell yeah. Let's see. Let me cut some on this side. Oh, it's hot. I burned my finger. You get how to cut ribs? Oh, that's nice. Want to take a bite, David? Take it. You take a bite. <laughs> this is that. Well, this is the end piece. <laughs> the, that's juicier. Let me see this. Dude, this looks freaking good, man. Really? It has that nice, like, tacky exterior from that smoke, so it's almost jerky-like. Yeah. And then you can see the smoke in this meat. Look at that. Look at that smoke ring. That's legit. Thank you. David knows because he does a lot of food shows. <laughs> it's good. It's good? Hell yeah! Bro, this is fucking good. Yes! Yo, this is good. Is it? It's bomb? It's a little... I like the sweetness too. Is it too sweet or not? Mm -mm. Hell yeah. This is how I like my, my ribs too, where it's not completely fall off the bone. Yeah. It has just enough chew where it still sticks, but it falls apart when you pull at it. Oh, nice. Thank you. Look at that. Bro, this is fucking good. Hell yeah. Hey, wait, what do I do? Okay, so these guys are done. I just chopped them up. Grab one of the ones on these sides. It's beefier. I mean, not beefier, but meatier and juicier. They've never looked like this before. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know if that's, that's an insult side, right? or a compliment. <laughs> Do they taste good? Yeah. Try it out for yourself. I'm you're just being nice because he's your homie. <gasps> you, know, you saw what I said about his last ribs. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just, I'm, my saliva. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs> Good. Mm. Yes. Is good? But you didn't even do anything. What? I seasoned it. <laughs> and timed it. Uh, I bought it from the store. All you needed to do was season it and have your phone charged. That's, it. That's true. Shout out to Craig. Nah, this is bomb. Feeding a whole family. 
mm-hmm. of shit talkers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they complimented you too much. I have to keep it balanced. I'm fine, thank it's you. It's the Libra in here, you know? Fine, thank you. It's so yummy. Mm-hmm. Yay. Mm. Good job. Thank you. Had an awesome day today, hanging out with friends, swimming, and most of all, of course, grilling again. Shout out to Traeger for sending me a super dope Timberline 1300. If you guys are looking for some pain-free, headache-free uh, grilling, I highly recommend it. As you guys saw, I checked on it minimally, and even the whole time, I'm just I can't believe I don't have to go back and tend to fire, and it came out awesome. So shout out so much to Traeger. Once again, this isn't even a brand deal. They just sent it to me, and... I was so happy with it. But thank you guys for hanging out with us once again. See you guys tomorrow. Good night.